Imagine a battery that not only delivers powerful performance, but also possesses the characteristics as mentioned above. It almost sounds too good to be true. In an exciting collaboration, the world's two largest battery manufacturers, KTL and BYD, have come together to introduce the remarkable sodium battery. This innovation could mark a significant turning point for electric vehicles as we know them. Now the question arises, what sets this sodium battery apart from the rest? And when can we expect this sodium-powered revolution to hit the streets? Let's take a thrilling expedition into the realm of Chinese sodium-ion batteries. Sodium, much like the outgoing social butterfly in school, is abundantly spread worldwide, commonly known as a vital component of table salt. Its easy extraction process sets it apart from lithium, which requires more tiresome mining procedures. Sodium ion batteries leverage this abundance of sodium and utilize cheaper raw materials, making them a thrilling alternative for EV manufacturers and battery enthusiasts everywhere. Due to its affordability, sodium is available at a mere 1 to 3% of the price of lithium. Chemically like lithium, sodium gains an extra edge in the battery game. Recent breakthroughs have elevated sodium ion batteries to become strong contenders, now capable of being recharged daily for years, challenging one of the main advantages of lithium batteries, no more range anxiety. Moreover, the energy capacity of sodium batteries has experienced a remarkable surge. The journey of sodium batteries began in the 1970s with the United States taking the first steps. However, the real advancements were made by Japanese researchers about a dozen years ago, propelling sodium batteries closer to the spotlight. But here's the unexpected twist. Chinese companies have now taken the lead in commercializing this technology, and they're going all out. Among the impressive 20 sodium battery factories either planned or already under construction worldwide, an astounding 16 of them are in China. In a short span of just two years, China is expected to dominate nearly 95% of the world's sodium battery production capacity. Sodium ion batteries possess a significant advantage when it comes to recycling, as they are easier to recycle and do not rely on elusive rare earth elements associated with lithium. Furthermore, sodium batteries demonstrate an impressive ability to retain almost all their charge even in freezing temperatures, unlike lithium batteries that tend to lose charge when confronted with chilly conditions. The supply of lithium and rare earth elements has been plagued by shortages and drastic price fluctuations. Conversely, sodium hydroxide, a crucial component of sodium ion batteries, remains notably cheaper. While the cost of lithium hydroxide has surged by over 1,000% in just two years, sodium hydroxide continues to be available at a fraction of the cost. Clearly, sodium stands out as the budget-friendly choice. However, when it comes to performance, we can't overlook lithium-ion batteries. They are renowned for their high energy density and power, making them the preferred option for high-performance and long-range Tesla models. Nevertheless, there is a drawback to lithium-ion batteries, the safety concern known as thermal runaway. You may have heard stories of electric vehicles catching fire or, in more severe cases, exploding due to this issue. Fortunately, sodium ion batteries do not encounter this issue. Now let's delve into who is at the forefront of sodium ion battery development. Unsurprisingly, China is leading the race, with KTL and BYD, two Chinese companies, striving to make sodium ion batteries accessible to the masses. KTL has disclosed that these batteries boast an impressive energy density of 160 kilowatt hours per kilogram just slightly lower than another battery type called LFP, lithium iron phosphate. An evaluation of patents related to sodium ion batteries demonstrates China's dominance, surpassing Japan and the United States by a considerable margin. Chinese companies are even preparing for mass production as early as this year, showing their commitment to staying ahead. On the other hand, Japan and the US are also actively exploring alternative batteries for their decarbonization efforts. While recognizing the significance of sustainable choices, both Japan and the U.S. are currently trailing behind China in the sodium ion battery race, striving to catch up. In December, as reported by the business publication Nikkei, an impressive 9,862 patents were in force, marking an astounding 12-fold increase over the past decade. Out of these patents, China takes the lead with a remarkable 5,486 patents constituting over 50% of the total. While Japan, 
which previously held the crown until 2015, remains actively involved with 1,192 patents. The United States follows with 719 patents, South Korea with 595, and France with 128. These sodium ion batteries are genuine game changers. They offer a more cost-effective manufacturing process, resulting in batteries that are affordable and accessible for all car enthusiasts. Furthermore, these batteries exhibit exceptional performance even in low temperatures, making them perfect companions for chilly winter drives. Chinese sodium ion batteries also boast enhanced safety features, providing peace of mind for drivers on the road. Cattle, the mastermind behind these batteries, has grander ambitions in store. They are preparing to reveal their upcoming sodium ion batteries that will boast an astonishing energy density surpassing 200 watt hours per kilogram. These innovative batteries are scheduled for mass production by 2023. Already, cattle's first generation sodium ion cells are remarkably affordable, costing just $1.77 per kilowatt hour. However, the excitement doesn't end there. The second generation, set to enter volume production, will further drive down the cost to an incredible $1.40 per kilowatt hour, leaving everyone awestruck. During interviews, Chinese battery executives shared groundbreaking news, disclosing that they have successfully decoded the process of manufacturing sodium battery cells to be on par with lithium cells. In an impressive feat, they have even developed a method to integrate both sodium cells and lithium cells within a single electric car's battery pack. This innovative approach combines the advantages of sodium cells, such as low cost and weather resistance, with the extended range capabilities of lithium cells. This breakthrough was achieved in 2021, marking a significant advancement in electric vehicle battery technology. Initially, experts expressed skepticism about the potential of sodium ion batteries, believing they were only suitable for certain applications like energy storage. Even at Cattail, the prominent Chinese battery manufacturer, there was hesitation, with some suspecting that Cattail's venture into sodium ion batteries was merely a strategic move to pressure lithium suppliers into reducing prices. However, much to their surprise, the landscape began to change dramatically by 2022. As the development of sodium ion batteries gained momentum and lithium prices soared, it became evident that sodium ion batteries had the capability to be a formidable player in the electric vehicle industry. The once dismissed sodium ion technology showed its true potential and emerged as a serious contender in the electric vehicle game. In November 2022, Catiel made a groundbreaking announcement, confirming that their sodium ion batteries were fully prepared to propel the electric vehicles of the future. Not wanting to fall behind, another major player in the EV arena, BYD, also hopped on the sodium ion bandwagon. They revealed their plans to commence mass production in 2023 and introduced a compact electric hatchback running on sodium ion battery power at the recent Shanghai Auto Show. Cattle continued to make waves, shaking things up once more, as they proudly revealed that their sodium ion batteries would be integrated into the Cherry Eye car, set to hit the market by the end of this year. The sodium ion revolution in the electric vehicle industry was taking significant strides, with both Cattell and BYD leading the way towards a sodium-powered future. Similarly, BYD is moving forward at full speed with their sodium ion batteries, set to enter mass production in the second half of the year, starting with their majestic Seagull model. Speaking of the Seagull, BYD showcased it in a grand stage treatment at the Shanghai Auto Show. This stunning vehicle comes in three different versions, each with a price range of $11,450 to $14,000. The current model is equipped with reliable LFP batteries but the new versions will feature BYD's revolutionary blade batteries, with capacities ranging from 30.08 kWh to 38.88 kWh. The blade batteries are a noteworthy feature. Powering the new models are none other than the innovative sodium ion batteries, offering a plethora of advantages, including improved safety and cost effectiveness. These remarkable sodium ion batteries make a significant and impressive addition to BYD's lineup. Indeed, we must not ignore their limitations. Energy density remains a challenge for sodium ion batteries, acting as their Achilles heel. To match the energy capacity of lithium ion batteries, 
a larger quantity of sodium ion batteries would be needed in the equation. Cattle made a groundbreaking announcement in November 2022, officially designating their sodium ion batteries as the future power source for electric vehicles. This revelation proved to be a true game changer in the industry. Sodium ion batteries offer significant advantages, particularly in terms of safety, which is always a positive aspect. Additionally, they are relatively cost effective. However, like anything in life, sodium ion batteries do have their limitations. One such constraint lies in their energy density, as they are not yet on par with the dominant lithium ion batteries. To match the energy capacity of their lithium ion rivals, a greater integration of sodium ion batteries would be necessary. Share your thoughts on whether you believe lithium batteries will continue to be superior, or if sodium batteries will become dominant in the future. We'd love to hear your opinion.